All right, so we have another video for you today. Uh, we figured we'd go over something uh, pretty common, especially for a locksmith, uh, functions of levers. You know, what kind of lever functions are out there, or at least what are the most popular ones, because there's many different specialty functions that you can find out there. So uh, today we have all our, we have Dexter levers, basically put all on displays here so we can show you. And we're gonna just break down the different functions, the different types that they have. Um, a lot of people don't know this, so we'll go ahead and, uh, education so these are the uh these are all dexter uh c2000 levers okay so it's their grade two uh lever their everyday lever basically your uh intro intro grade two lever lock so let's start with this one i guess so this one right here uh, if you look at them they all look the same that's one thing so it's hard to tell the difference so this is why i'm going to break it down for you so let's start off with the most basic first of all there's entry function so if you look at the back of these, we're, we're gonna start with this top one, okay? So this top one here, as you can tell, has a key, the key retracts the latch. If I push down the lever, nothing happens. I have to turn the key, nothing happens with the, with the lever. It's all key action here, right? And then on the inside, it's always unlocked. There's no plunger here, there's nothing. That's what's called a storeroom function lever. Yeah, it usually goes on a storage room or something like that. Something that you never want to accidentally leave unlocked. So this, this lever here will allow you to never let this be unlocked. It always will require a key from the outside and will always be ADA regulation, let you out, open on the inside, okay? So an entry, I mean a storeroom function lever is gonna have no little plunger, no pop-in like this right here. Has nothing on the inside and it literally just retracts the latch and that's it. That's a storeroom function lever. Okay, so anything that you wanna, you want someone to have to use a key every time they come in that door, if you want that function, then that's the type of lever you need. Okay, so now that we have the storeroom function, let's talk about the entry function. So entry function has a little plunger on the inside. So right now, it's unlocked, it retracts the latch. On the inside, if I push this in, Nothing happens, right, until I do this. Then it's unlocked and unlocked. That's an entry function lever. That's your most common lever. That's what most of them are gonna be, okay? So this one here, you can leave unlocked right now. I get in and have access. Don't need to keep Jesus in there. So I can get in anytime I need to, but if someone pushes this in, I'm gonna have to use a key to override that. Now, another really cool thing about this particular entry lever is it lets it kind of be a storeroom. So if I push this in and then just turn it over a little bit, I flipped it over, then unlocked. Notice that it's not popping the plunger out. I can't leave it unlocked, right? So that little feature right there makes it act like a storeroom lever because I have to use a key just like this one and I can't leave it unlocked, right? It has to use the key. So this has an ability to make it storeroom. The only problem is with that is that if someone accidentally comes in and spins this and does that, well, there goes your storeroom. So it's a little feature that you can push it in and then turn it and then it works like a storeroom as long as nobody messes with that. Okay, so that's an entry function. The entry function is you turn the key, plunger pops out, it's now unlocked until I lock it back. Okay? So the one right here in the bottom, so we have storeroom, storeroom entry function and this one also is an entry function on the bottom i'll show you what the only difference is so this one functions just the same the plunger's pushed in the back turn the key tracks the lock right i can turn it this way open the door doesn't matter either way it works okay on this one here if it's locked notice when this one's locked and this one's locked too but watch the lever goes down Okay, that's not retracting, but the lever goes down. This is the only one that does that. That's called a clutch function. Okay, so what that does is protects against people coming up to your door going, oh, it's locked, oh, it's locked. And over time, it just keeps banging on that lock, banging on that lock, and your lever starts sagging and sagging. So this allows you to go, oh, it's not, it's not working, it's not open, okay. But it's not putting any hard torque on that lever. Okay, so it basically absorbs torque for you, it moves with you, it's called a clutch function. So you'll see it on a box. It's 
kind of wore out, but right there says clutch. That's the only difference. It's an entry function, but it has a clutch on it, meaning the lever will move. It will go with you. It won't resist you. It won't stop you from going down. It'll, just, it'll move with you. So, storeroom function. Always have to use a key on the outside. Always unlocked on the inside. That's a storeroom function lever. You have an entry function lever, which is you can use a key, leave it unlocked, pop the plunger back in, it's locked until you use the key again. Uh, so that one, the entry function, you can leave it locked or leave it unlocked. And then you have the entry function with, with clutch, which is just an added on feature. It's not really a different, different type of uh, lock or different function. It just has that extra little feature with the clutch feature. All right. So now we cover those, let's cover some of the other ones. This one here, if you look on top, has nothing on either side, right? Both sides, same thing. That's called a passage lever. It's free passage, either way you go. It never locks, it's just there so you can push down, keep the door closed, and open the door, people can come and go as they want. So that's called a passage lever. Then you have uh, a privacy lever right here. This is called a privacy lever. This one, you can lock it, but I can take anything that's flat. For instance, like this key. I'm pretty sure I can do the key. And just do that and unlock it now, right? So, locked it. You can do fingernail if it's long enough, you can do quarter, you can do flathead. It's just gives you privacy. That's why it's called a privacy lever. So if you're in a bathroom, that's when you use these types. Because if someone knows someone's in the bathroom, they're not gonna force it open and come in on you. It's a privacy lever. So, passage, free passage, both ways, no locking. Privacy, you push in the lock when you're on the inside of the door, someone can't walk in on you. But if you really need to get in, you can just turn the little, little cap there and you got uh, entrance. So, that's called private, uh, passage, passage, privacy. Now, another one we have is down here. This one is called classroom function. So, some of these work differently. Some of them, on uh, classrooms, you can put the key in, take a 360 degree turn, pull the key out, stays locked. Uh, put the key in, turn it 360 the other way, and pull the key out, and now it stays unlocked. Now this particular classroom, the Dexter version of it, there's nothing on the inside, right? So it's always open from the inside. But on the outside, I turn the key all the way to the left, and then back to center, and it's locked. We turn all the way to the right and back to center, and now it's unlocked. It's keyed out so you can see. It stays unlocked. Key in. Good. All the way to the left. Put it back to the middle. Lock. Key in. All the way to the right. And key out. Unlock. And these are used on classrooms, hence classroom feature uh, function. So, you use them other places too, but usually classrooms, you're like, oh, the kids are gonna be here all day. Key, key in, turn it, unlock, stays unlocked all day. All right, now it's the time of the night. It's locked up. 360 the other way, pull the key out, the lever's locked. So, those are your most common ones. I would say there is another function that I need to, do need to touch on that, that isn't here. I don't have it right here with me. The other function, most common function one, is a institutional lever. So, institutional, is used at institutions, like uh, psych wards, things like that, mental health places. You're basically, you're locking them in and you're locking them out. So you don't want anybody coming out and you don't want anybody going in without a you know, key to get either side. So you have, basically it has a key lock like this, but on both sides. So you're, you're forced to use a key every time you come in, you're forced to use a key every time you go out. You can't leave it unlocked, it's gonna be locked every time. And that's it, that's called institutional level. So, those are used primarily on institutions, psych wars, mental health facilities, things like that. All right, so let's recap now. So we have your standard storeroom function. You have to use a key, always on the outside, always unlocked on the inside. Second one is entry function. Key on the outside, you can leave it unlocked. You can pop the plunger on the inside, turn the key, it pops out and unlocks it. It also has that little feature where you can push it in and then turn it and then technically it'll just retract the latch every time on an entry function, but as soon as someone twists that, it's gonna pop out next time and it won't. It's not reliable as a storeroom function. You can get it to work as a storeroom function, but it's not reliable that that lock will never be left unlocked. So, if you have a door that has to be locked at all times, use a storeroom. 
You have one that sometimes you want to leave locked, sometimes you don't, use an entry function. And then don't forget you have that feature called a clutch feature that can be added to any of these levers. Um, also, don't forget we have the passage function. Always unlock both sides, very simple. There's just literally something to grab onto, pull down, you know, that's the passage uh, function. Then you have privacy. Don't forget you have a plunger on the inside, push it in, lock, you turn this, pops out, it's used on bathrooms, privacy function. And then we have your um, classroom function. Turn it this way, pull the key out, stays locked. Turn it this way, pull the key out, stays unlocked. Use on classrooms. You can, you can leave it locked, you can leave it unlocked permanently by just turning the key opposite directions. And then, recap, we have the institutional one. You have to use a key on both sides of the door no matter what. Key entry, no matter what. We're locking you in, we're locking you out. We use at mental health facilities usually. Things like that. So, we appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully you learned something from the video. Uh, please uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the bell icon for notifications. We appreciate the support as always. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. We're on all of them. Please check out our other YouTube channel, Udropreneur. It's U-D-R-O-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. It's uh, another channel that we have that's uh, moving along. So please check that out. We appreciate the support as always.